this one that's the oldest one I've got so I've had that for nigh on 40 years I think uh, it was a quite a famous sports car in its day so I probably wanted one since they came out in 74 this one by the time I bought this one this one I, I've had about five years I already knew then the, the Lotus Elite which this is is probably one of the most iconic and uh, classic Lotus road cars it's the first one they ever did so I knew very well then I wanted one of these so uh, it took me about 12 months to find a nice one but that was for sale uh, so yeah I was fortunate enough then to be able to afford and bought it I like to you know I use them in summer so it's at least sort of a trip out once a week uh, so you usually you know it's a pleasure to have a run out so they, they use just as a matter of fact on a weekly basis uh, I don't bother too much if it it's, uh, rains on them that doesn't hurt them too much classic cars are one of the easiest pieces of sort of industrial heritage mechanical engineering that individuals can I don't really consider myself a custodian. Uh, that doesn't mean to say I don't understand it, but of course I bought these when they weren't, there were no such thing as classic cars. I just liked the cars of the era. There were cars that were around on the streets uh, when I, you know, when I was 15, 16. Most people, uh, are very enthusiastic about them and, and, and like them a lot you, know, you get lots of compliments which sometimes can be a little bit embarrassing you have to learn how to actually take compliments but most people uh, really like them they particularly like this this one you know the 60s i think it would be a shame there's they're certainly very seen as very collectible but I think it would be sad if they're only ever put in a museum and people don't use them. I think uh, it's good to keep them on the road and keep driving them. And I think you lose some of the purity of driving with modern cars. Uh, modern cars in many ways are far better, but I don't think they give you the uh, just the feeling that you get from the older ones it's all all things really it's the nostalgia it's uh, just the driving pleasure you get just you take these not to go you take these out not to go anywhere you take these out just for the sake of driving but for me I, I'm a mechanical engineer by uh, you know our training and they just sort of a wonder for me a wonderful piece of mechanical engineering and uh, whilst it's not not necessary to in, for in, the enjoyment I like uh, working on the engines and working on the mechanical pieces as well so it becomes quite all-encompassing really So, yeah, uh, nostalgia is a big, big part of it, and that's, I think most people would say that.